Hello friends, today I will tell you how to work with Node MCU using Blink app or you can say IoT using Node MCU. For that purpose, you have to just first install Blink application in your mobile phone. So in my mobile phone over here I just already installed this blink app so just click on this over here you just go to you have to first sign in yourself you can sign in your Google account or your Facebook account also or you can also sign up so over here you just create new project so over here I just name it for today like March 6th 2022 okay as you see over here you have to select your board here are different board right now I am just selecting ESP8266 you can select connection type right now my connection type is usb not usb it is wi-fi okay so you can select the theme also so just create so it just send a authentication token to this given address my email address is salim 70808 gmail.com okay so just okay so this is the just first part Next, in this, you have to go to your PC. Over here, you have to just type Arduino IDE. As you see, over here, this is my Arduino IDE. So, just wait it. So right now you have to just install from the tools like over here I already installed board type in the board manager you have to just install blink so over here it just take some time according to your internet speed it just install some updates so over here blink application you have to just type blink or you just also type ESP8266 okay so you have to first install this right now I already installed this so as you see if I want to 3.0.2 is already installed it in my system so you have to just install this ESP8266 and also you have to just blink application over here okay so it is already in in this my system already existed in my system so in this you have to just go to new file I just close this connect your node MCU right now I just connect my node MCU with my PC so over here in the examples go to blink application 
here is my blink application then just go to board wi-fi over here you can select node mcu so this is the code which will connect your mobile phone blink app with your node mcu your node mcu just require any power that is 3.3 volt okay so over here this is it require this program require first your template id that is this is your token it is on your mail i just check my mail as you see my authentication token for march 6 2022 here is my authentication token i just copy this just copy this authentication token and go to the program and paste it okay now you have to just put your wi-fi name my wi-fi name is hr32 and you have to just put the password so my password is this okay now you have to just check your board right now my board is esp8236 node mcu esp12e module okay it is selected now just select the port my port is also selected now hit on run button just it will take 30 to 50 seconds just wait for it and when the uploading part is done your node mcu will connect with your blink application okay so we'll wait for it when you connect your node mcu with your pc the led will glow right now my node mcu is off contain blue color light okay so just wait for it when uploading is done i just remove the usb from the pc and it will directly in contact or interfaced with my blink application so first program i just use how to on off a led using blink app and in between i just show you the node mcu pin now node mcu pin out as you see over here here is the node mcu pin diagram as you see so over here in this diagram d note here is d note d1 d2 d3 d4 these are digital pin over here this is analog pin and this pin is gpio 16 in node mcu uh, in billing cap okay so right now i just check over here as you see uploading part is done written writing part is working 9200 and it is done hard is setting of rts pin right now my node mcu require only power it doesn't require any program it will uh, connect with my blink application so now i just go to the 
another part now as you see over here this is my power bank i already installed code in node mcu and over here i just connect the ground to the ground of ir sensor infrared sensor module and vcc to the 3.3 volt and i just connect over here the analog pin with my a0 so over here this is my ir sensor and over here this is my node mcu and this is the power supply to my node mcu so as you see over here i just put this over here and this is my blink application and in this you have to just add value display so over here this is my value display i just enlarge it and you have to select the time and in this i just select the analog adc pin just okay and over here you just name it the ir sensor okay just go back right now i just connect my ir sensor vcc to 3.3 volt so that's why i get the value half in this case so when i hit on run button as you see over here the value is 614 if i connect my ir sensor with 5 volt in that case i got 1024 over here so right now it is the value is right now 3 now the value is 6.14 as you see now 3 you can using this potentiometer you can change the its you can change also its range so i just again open my phone over here it is right now ir sensor shows four value now it is 614 as you see okay so this is how you can interface ir sensor with your node mcu in the next video we will tell you or i will tell you how to interface a potentiometer using node mcu thank you